What's going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at this Nissan GTR which is 800 brake horsepower. So it's more powerful than mine. It's got a little bit of rose gold in it as well. Um, it is the owner of Night Racer, the place where I go to get my car serviced. I get any tuning done to my car. I pretty much go to them for everything. Carbon as well, they, they do a lot for GTRs. They're GTR specialists. But I've had the opportunity today to basically just go around this car and show you what it looks like. So that's what we're going to do first of all. All right, so we have Albert here, the owner. Um, he's actually going to talk me around and talk you around, most importantly, what everything is on this car. So I've just said, oh, this is carbon, that's carbon. But what's the actual name of all of these bits? So what is this bonnet? Bonnet is our Night Racer GT2 carbon fiber bonnet night racer gt2 yeah and then the front end the facelift carbon fiber front bumper which is pretty much 2012 onwards or yeah. aka 2016 yeah. because 2017 as you guys know is completely different it's a little bit sharper there will be some kind of new front end conversion done by night racer soon um so if we come around the side what else is carbon and what is uh, it called carbon front wings yep like factory wings but full carbon we've got our 2016 emblems yep Wing vents, our yep. Night Racer side skirts, wing mirrors, carbon, yeah, mirrors. Uh, and you, you think this is just rose gold? You're not sure if it's rose gold chrome, no? Nah, definitely rose gold, but not chrome. Oh, black you did chrome, check, yeah. yeah, yeah, black chrome. You can definitely see that's chrome. You mm -hmm. can, you can, uh, you can do your hair in this. That's right. That's right. Um, full carbon rear bumper. Full carbon rear bumper. Yep. yep. So yep. that's bumper. this section onwards. That's it. We've got our race spec rear diffuser. We've yep. got our full carbon exhaust tailpipes. So that's a GTC titan right yep that is the street or the street that's the street so it's a little it's not the most no, it's loudest, not the loudest it's not the loudest but it's loud enough yeah yeah definitely. Uh, and then obviously the big standout thing about this now uh especially since when i first come here about a year ago you didn't have this spoiler now, this is our new product this is a nismo spec rear spoiler in full carbon yes it does look good Lights, are they the same lights same as mine? Yeah, the Valenti so, smoked rear lights. Valenti like jewel. We'll, we'll turn the car on soon so we get to see them. Um, slightly tinted uh, rear plates, which yeah. I need. And I think you've got tinted on the front too. Yeah. And you've also got the blades here, which... Like, have yeah. you shaved them down like mine yeah. as well? Yeah, because yeah. they do hit the bumps if uh, if you're not careful. You live somewhere where you've got really big bumps. Uh, wheels, what wheels are these? Uh, they're American, niche. Yep. Yeah, import from America. Okay. And they're painted to match the rose gold. Yep. And then, if you go inside, we've got a different steering wheel. This is just a, is it an Al, just an Alcantara? Is there a special Alcantara, name for it? Alcantara, flat bottomed, yeah, reprofile yep. steering wheel. Looks nice, feels nice, a bit different. It's got this red bit at the top, yeah. so. Got your paddle Racing shifters. style, yep. Got the carbon, carbon, fiber. carbon ones here. This is gloss though, isn't it? This is, um, yeah, one of the first I've, ones to gloss, but then we made them all in black. Uh, yeah, sorry, all, all in, in matte. matte, yep. I think I've got the matte ones. Right. And then you've got all the, all the carbon around here, which is yeah. just a wrap. But wrapped, wrapped. still looks nice. Yeah. So I have pointed out one weakness about your car. I've just got to say, Gone. it's where's the carbon up here though? <laughs> you, you missed a bit. You missed a bit. I've where's the, the roof, carbon? I've got the roofs in stock. I haven't got the car yet. <laughs> but that that is literally the only bit that hasn't yeah. been wrapped or isn't carbon. So it's the only panel that's black. It, factory paint. Yeah, yeah, factory paint. So I think it's time to go for a drive and see what this thing is like because uh, obviously this is faster than mine. It's 800 horsepower. We've all got different sense. Actually, you know what? Let's pop the bonnet. We haven't seen what's underneath yet. Here we go. Cue the music. And we just had the car clean, so <laughs> a load of water just shot out. Can you talk us through this? Like, what's what's different? Okay, what's different between yours and this? Yeah. It's got uh, it's got it's got bigger intercoolers, so it's got 80 mil pipes. Yep. Yours are 70, I believe. Uh huh. Uh, so the whole kit, all the intake kits are bigger. The pipes are bigger. Um, it's got a breather system here, uh -huh, which I yep. need because I'm running a bit more boost than you. All colour coded as well. Yeah, yeah, colour coded, full built. Engine, you need it rose gold. Now you've got rose yeah, gold on the yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah, maybe I'll think about that next time. <laughs> but otherwise, it looks wise. It's essentially the same. Yeah. Oh, the carbon, carbon uh, engine bay cover as well. The same as mine, except this. The badge is still here, but mine fell off during during mod ball, unfortunately. Oh, and a bit of bit of carbon here too and there and there every time i'm doing this like i have to look at the camera and then look at the car i realize there's some more carbon it's loads of it so another thing i noticed another carbon feature is these hydraulic bonnet dampeners i guess you can call them something like, along those lines but all gtrs come with like your typical uh bonnet stand which just lies up here pop it up stick it in one of these holes somewhere i can't see the uh, where i'm pointing because i'm looking at the uh, camera but it's just a nice little touch makes it a little bit softer on opening and closing but that's enough talking. I think it's time to start the car up, 
do a quick sound check and then we'll actually get in the passenger seat and see how much power this thing has got. Ready to start it up? Go. There Jack, you go, nice lights. Set, you got the key, mate. Oh, here you go. I've got my badge on the front only, but I don't have anything on the back, but that looks good. Right, let's see what this thing's made of. bad thing it's just something I've spotted it's the Titan exhaust it's nice it's nice so talk us through what is different to yours so we've got the suspension here oh the suspension yeah, yeah, yeah it's controlled so, on GPS so I've got a GPS sensor in the boot and it adjusts the damping from front to back independently yeah. according to my g-force so we're going so whether yeah. we're accelerating hard the rear stiffen up automatically yeah or if i'm, if I'm just cruising speed then it would just it would just soften up so it's so more comfortable i can't see the screen because i'm looking at the camera but does a lower number mean that's stiffer or what's that uh, lower number yeah. uh, uh, softer so the lower number means it's spin softer okay so we'll go for a little pull in a second and you we'll see, see what the numbers the, do. You can see A and B, A is acceleration, yep. and B is braking G-force. So you can see the bars go up and down. That yellow thing looks rubbish within the camera. It's like dangling oh, around shit. here. Take that off. Yeah. <laughs> Again, something we didn't cover is your blue Speedo. Oh, so yeah. that's aftermarket as well. That's right, yeah. Those Slightly down. different. Also, traction control setting yeah, down right. here. So this is where the uh, the lighter usually is, like cigarette lighter. It's uh, it's now like a, a knob which you can turn and reduce and increase the traction, traction control. control setting. So when we get this pop, 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 pop noise, that's because oh, it's a this. certain setting. <laughs> I think the camera picked that up. I can. It was quite kind of shaking like that, but. It's quite hard to keep the camera still when you're doing that. We haven't talked about this, so what boost are you running at the moment? Uh, at the moment 1.5 bar, we've got to 1.8. And they are aftermarket turbos, they're, they're yes, upgraded. Yes, bigger turbos, yep, bigger upgrade turbos. turbos. So compared to yours, I've got bigger turbos, bigger fuel pump, bigger injectors. Are these new dump valves? Uh, these, yeah, yeah, different to yours. Slightly louder. But then I've got a carbon fibre bonnet vented, so it'll be louder in my car anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Forgot about that. So I haven't got any like big vents in my in my bonnet, but obviously he has. So the noise comes through a lot easier. There's less dampening. So I think that's pretty much it in terms of the driving side of things. Um, unfortunately, I'm not I'm not 25 years old yet, so I can't be insured and drive other people's cars, which is really frustrating. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, drop a like. Uh, we're just going back to the garage now to pick up my car because I've had some things done to it, uh, which you'll see in the video. So I've got the Ecutech new uh, map, which you can control on an app on your phone. And I've also got a rear wheel drive module for my car. I don't know if I've put the videos live on my channel yet. If I have, I'll leave the link in the description. But if not, make sure you subscribe and keep your eyes out for that. So here we go, heading into the night racer garage. Let's see where my car is. Hey, there it is. I haven't got much suit on this.